Welcome, welcome to the Rick Kelts Real Estate Show. Yes, you read the title correctly, $38 million in price reductions in one week. Is that very common? Is that very out of the ordinary? Well, it's a little higher than normal, but it's really not that alarming when we look at it. So I'm going to dive into some of the details here and show you why I bring it up and show you where we're at, what's going on here as we're approaching the final quarter. Here's where we're sitting right here. We had... $38.69 million in price reductions compared to last week, 44.2. It's half of what we were seeing last year, which was $87 million. And you'll remember that back here, this is when interest rates went up from 3% to 7 and the market panicked and iBuyers started reducing like crazy and dumping their inventory along with some investors. Had to get rid of them. Uh, a lot of people jumped in saying, I got to grab this equity while I still have it. And they put their homes on the market. And then we saw the highest number of expireds I've seen in a long time in cancel cancellations. They just tried to sell. I think my house is worth six fifty. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, it's too late. And so they said, well, I think I'll stay here. So they pulled it off, off the market. And that's what happened last year. Now, right here, here's our month's supply right now. We're sitting at 2.8. Again, that's not an alarming number. But it's, it's going up a pretty good clip, folks. So you got to keep an eye on that. And then this is the Cromford Supply Index. And you've seen me show this to you many times if you're a follower of this show. And you can see here where the blue line crosses above the red line. That's inventory going higher than sales. We went down about 15%. This number right here coincides with what you saw right here, which was the price reductions. So right now... There's still a gap here. So supply has not outstripped demand. Now we are seeing new supply start to come on slightly higher. But total inventory is increasing. Total inventory is almost 16,000 right now. You know, remember back in 2021, I was showing you weeks where I only had 4,800 homes on the market. That was pretty amazing. So until these cross, there, we haven't seen prices on the average sales price come down yet. A touch on that as well. Here's active listings. Now, I want to show you something on this because these are staying right about here flat. In fact, they actually went up a couple bucks last week. Why is that? Why are active listings prices so sticky right now? Why are they staying there? Well, for a couple of reasons. One, they're contributing a lot. Sellers are contributing, on average, $9,870 towards concessions to either let you rate, buy down your rate or help with your closing costs or a combination of the two. They're doing that because builders are doing that. Builders are offering contributions towards closing costs and incentives as high as thirty dollars to $40,000. That's why their sales are up 6% versus last year. So you're trying to sell your home. You're keeping your home price elevated so that you can use some of that equity to give back to the buyer and that's what we're seeing so the price reduction is going to become after those incentives weren't really explored so you can put in your listing agreement i mean you know in your mls it says you know seller is offering ten thousand dollars in buyer concession get it out front let them know uh, a lot of people go in they write the offer and then they ask for the seller concessions but if you're that willing to do that it's a good move. The builders are. The builders are putting right out there, hey, we're giving you 30 k um, So that might be something to consider. Now, will prices come down? Every indication for what we see right now for the short term is January, I think so. November, December to me is always just a write-off. It's like, eh, nobody's shopping anyway. And you look here on this, this chart, and what you're seeing here is this is our contract ratio. Do you notice a year after year, we always go up and down, up and down, up. Well, we went up, we went down just on a up faster and down faster. So, but it, it's still kind of above where it was since 2014. This is what I call the silly season here where 2020, 2021 went nuts. So we're not alarmingly above where we were before we got into this mess of free money. And this is the listing success rate. Now, this is starting to go down. You listed your house. Were you successful? You're not successful. Well, people weren't doing too well last year, right? So listing success rate got all the way down here to in the 60, 62, 63%. Right now, we're sitting up here at 
74%. So it is getting tougher and tougher, but it's by no means bleak. There are some cities where the where the uh, um, Crawford Market Index is still indicating it's a seller's market. There's a lot of cities right now where it's turned into a buyer's market, but let's face it. Um, there's been a lot of buyers have been knocked out. First time home buyers, they're toast. They just simply can't afford it. Yeah, I'm kind of keeping my eyes peeled for a young lady that I know that wants to buy a house. And every time I crunch the numbers at the current rate, I go, I can't get her into that. I'm not even going to try. You know, what, 60% of your monthly income you're going to put towards a house payment? So that's the situation that they're in. Now, there's a lot of people out there that don't have a problem in this market. They've got a lot of equity. They sold. Maybe they're from another state. They're able to participate, and that's why we're still selling homes. So even though you're seeing a lot of these price reductions that are coming around, it's a, it's a combination of people trying to hold under their prices so they can offer incentives but there's also a great deal of sellers out there that are just kind of testing the market and they're finding out they can't get it. So they're forced to reduce the price. It doesn't mean that the sales prices are crashing. It means that the expectations are crashing. I thought I could get this. Whoops. I couldn't. My neighbor did. My neighbor down there did. Yeah, that was 60 days ago, but why can't I get that price? Well, you're finding out you can't. You still have a lot of equity. A lot of you still have a lot of equity to work with, but it's really hard to let go of it. Once you look on Zillow and Redfin and Realtor.com and they're telling you what your house is with, worth, you have a hard time letting go of that, don't you? Well, that's it. They say it's worth 500000 Well, why and why would I sell it for four fifty? You only paid 200000 for it back in 2017, but Why? Would I sell it for anything less than what Zillow says? I'm seeing a lot of that, folks. I know it sounds childish, but I'm seeing a lot of that. Sellers, you have to go in now realizing that buyers are going to ask for a contribution. Price accordingly. Try to move your home. Be prepared to offer concessions. That's the market that we're in, and I think it's going to be that way for a while. I think we had a sucker's rally on rates. They came down quite a bit this this week, I don't know if it's going to stick. We'll watch that as well. I hope this helps. Shoot me an email, rick at rickhelps.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter in the link below. Take care.